Hi there, Felipe here from CajonMaster.com. After many requests about Cajon pedals, today I'm going to introduce the Cajon pedal. But first I'm going to explain why I didn't make a video about a Cajon pedal before. When I've started playing the Cajon, right away I had a pedal on the kit. But to tell you the truth, I was never convinced because of some bad experiences I had. Several times the cable of the pedal broke on the middle of the gig. And also there was a delay in the pedals I had uh, of the response between the pedal and the beater. So, because of these things, I've decided not to use it anymore. But now, following your request, I've decided to give it a try. I have contacted Mino to talk about all the Cajon pedals and see what they've got. I've explained all the problems I had before with broken cables, etc. And I have found this option in the catalog, the Direct Drive Cajon pedal. And this is the one I'm going to test and review today. Before starting the test, let's do an unboxing and set up this pedal with the car. Let's go to it. Here we have the beater. This, I think, is the standard Mino Cajon beater with this foam rubber uh, to not damage the front plate. I've used this before and it works fine. This is probably the base plate. This is the piece that will hold and connect the cajon with the pedal. Now we have the actual pedal. It looks nice and compact. It comes with a key like a drum kit to regulate all the parts of this pedal. The foot part is a bit different than other pedals. There isn't a foot plate that you normally see in other Cajon pedals. It's just a metal part that you can regulate according to the distance that you want from the Cajon. And the foot stays in contact with the floor. This is interesting, let's see if it works. Now let's put the beater. This is how the pedal looks without the cajon. Now let's set up the pedal with the box. First we put the base. Now we connect the pedal. And I think we are set. Now let's play a little bit and see how it feels. Now I'm going to improvise a bit for you to see and hear how it sounds and also to show some examples of grooves with the pedal.
not bad. Let's start with a few of these pedals. I have to say that I was not sure that this pedal without the foot plate would work for me. But actually, it works. I've started playing it uh, with my heel down, touching the floor, and it worked fine. Then, when I started playing it with my heel up, it also was fine. Of course, it took some time to get used to, to the pedal, but once I understood the mechanism, it was good. The direct drive changes everything. As I said before, the beginning, when I started playing Cajon, I was disappointed with the cable pedals because of the durability and also the feel of it. This direct drive changes everything. It's much better in my opinion. The beater works fine, no problem. I will probably try different beaters to see which sounds I can get from it. One thing that I didn't like is the bass plate, that once I have uh, installed under the Cajon, it scratched a bit the wood, so I don't like when it happens. A solution I found for that is to adapt a piece of fabric to protect the Cajon. So overall, I think it's a good pedal. It works fine and is more reliable than other pedals I've used before. The price I think is also good for a Cajon pedal. It costs $129 in the US and 119 euros in Europe. I have included a link with more info in the description below if you want to purchase this pedal. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of this pedal? Do you think it can be a good choice? I'd like also to know which Cajon pedal do you have? Please leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. Next week, I will continue to explore it more and I will present to you some kit combinations to give you ideas of how to set up a Cajon kit with a pedal. I'm going to add a snare, some percussion and more. It should be fun. So stay tuned for that. And remember, if you want to start playing the Cajon, you can check out my free Cajon starter course, link in the description below. Now to all of you Cajon players. If you like the content you have just watched here, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. Keep playing and having fun with the Cajon. This is the most important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you soon in the next one.